Now, we're all familiar with the federal program Cash for Clunkers as part of President Obama's stimulus package, but now there's a little vehicle qualifying for a big incentive, a tax credit rather than a rebate. Lindsay Reiser takes us to the city where these vehicles fill the streets. <laughs> Forget cash for clunkers. Now it's all about cash for carts. People are using uh, golf cars and neighborhood vehicles more and more in different different ways. Steve Pulley owns a golf car store in Sun City and he's cashing in now that the government is offering a federal tax break on low speed vehicles or LSVs, the kind Pulley sells in his store. And while he says this is great for business, he admits the legislation was probably intended for electric automobiles only. I believe that the Congress was not aware at, at the time that uh, the legislation was passed that the LSV category would be included. Now, now this particular vehicle would run about $7,500, but after a $4,200 tax credit, you could drive away for less than half that. That's exactly what Robert Geyer did. He didn't know about the tax credit until he came into Pulley's store. But now, thanks to good timing, he looks forward to a big tax return next spring. It's a great deal. You know, every little bit helps. Now, these are no dragsters. The max speed of an LSV is 25 miles an hour. For short trips, they're really good. Also, to be allowed on the road, they have to be equipped with safety features like rearview mirrors, turn signals, seat belts, and special brakes. It's easier than using a, a car or a van. They are economically efficient, environmentally efficient, and now, thanks to the government, cheaper than ever. In Sun City, Lindsay Reiser, Cronkite News. Pulley says his store has already sold about 30 low-speed vehicles that qualify for the tax credit and has high hopes even after the program ends on December 31st.